In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run and manage open source database on Kubernetes using KubeDB with the help of Elasticsearch custom resource definition. Elasticsearch is a Kubernetes custom resource definition. It provides a declarative configuration for Elasticsearch in a Kubernetes native way. So all I need to describe the desired database configuration in an Elasticsearch object. And the KubeDB operator will create Kubernetes objects in the desired state for you. We are going to use this CRD to provision and manage open source in this video. So let's get started with it. So in KubeDB, we support two types of clustering for uh, open source. One is combined cluster and the other one is topology cluster. And open source combined cluster is a group of one or more open source nodes where each node can perform as master data and ingest nodes simultaneously. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you only the combined cluster node deploy. So here is a sample YML. As you can see, the API version is skipdb.com slash v1 alpha 2. The kind is Elasticsearch. The metadata section, uh, we are naming our open source uh, object to be open OS cluster or open source cluster. We're going to deploy our uh, open source instance to demo namespace. In the spec section, you can see the version is open source 1.2.2. Uh, it is a required field that is specifies the name of Elasticsearch version CAD, where the Docker images are specified. We are using only the official open source images uh, to deploy. In the replica section, uh, you can see that we have set it to three. Uh, the default value of this field is one. It specifies the number of nodes or pods in the open source cluster. Uh, you can see that we have set enable SSL to true. Uh, it is also an optional field that specifies whether to enable TLS to HTTP layer. The default value of this field is false. It specifies the TLS or uh, SSL configurations. Uh, we recommend it to set it to true if you want secure communication with your database. There's another field, storage type. Storage type is an optional field that specifies the type of storage to use for your database. It can be either durable or ephemeral. The default value of this field is durable. If ephemeral is used, then QB will create open source database using empty directory volume. In this case, you don't have to specify spec.storage field below. Uh, if this spec.storage type is not set to ephemeral and set to durable, uh, then this field storage is required. This field specifies the storage class of PVCs uh, dynamically allocated to dynamically allocated to store data for your database. This storage spec will be passed to the stateful set created by kubedb operator to run database ports. You can specify any storage class available in your cluster with appropriate resource requests. And finally, the uh, termination policy. Uh, we have set it to do not terminate so that in case we do, we do not, we, we may not delete our database accidentally. You can also set it to wipe out if you want uh, non restriction uh, on your database deletion. So let's go to our terminal and deploy this YML. So this is our workstation here. You see that our Kubernetes client version is 1.22.4 and our Kubernetes server version is 1.22.1. Uh, I have already installed KubeDB on my clusters, and you can see that from here. In the KubeDB namespace, all the KubeDB ports are running here. Uh, so let's deploy the, our YML that we have just seen.
in this terminal for you to see when the status will be get will become ready as you can see the stateful set that keep the operator have provisioned has created the ports the open source ports ports are already running in your case it will take a little more time uh, for image pooling and other operations it has also created some necessary services and just created some certificates and and credential secrets okay so our open source cluster is ready uh, version is open source 1.2.2 okay now if you want to see all the other versions that QTP supports currently of open source See by keeps it will get US version. You can use the grep command to find only the open source versions that we support. So here it is. You can see currently we are supporting open source 1.1.0, 1.2.2, and 1.3.2, and all of them are open source official versions. All of them are uh, in, in all of them we are using open source official docker images so here it is now if you want to access to your database uh, your open source database you can do it by using card or HTTP request but you can also uh, access to your database through open source dashboards uh, in kubedb we support Another custom resource definition, Elastic Cell Dashboard, uh, which is used to deploy a uh, dashboard for the database. So we're going to use this custom resource definition. As you can see in the YML, the kind is Elastic Cell Dashboard. The API version is dashboard.kibdb.com slash v1 alpha 1. The metadata section, we are going to name, uh, we are going to name our dashboard instance to OS cluster dashboard or open source cluster dashboard. The name instance must be same where the database is deployed in in our case which is demo name space in the spec section we are again recommending to set enable SSL to true if you want your uh, open source dashboard to be um, secure securely connected and tls is enabled in http layer the database reference section you just have to refer the database name in our case, which is OS cluster that we have just deployed. So let's apply this YML into our cluster. Okay. Okay, as you can see, yeah, it's kindly not registered. The open source pod is running. It has created a service OS cluster dashboard. Let's wait some moment and it's ready now. So our dashboard resource is also ready. Okay. Now if we want to access our database through open source dashboard, we can use this service. So let's Port for this service to our local host. Okay. So let's go to our browser. And from our browser, we're going to hit the 5601 port that we have port forwarded our dashboard service okay. now it will say uh, it will show this warning first as we are using self and certificates which is not trusted by our browser so we are going to proceed to localhost anyway to ask for a username and password in this login page 
So when we deployed our open source database, uh, it had created some secrets. And from the secrets, you can see that there's a secret which is named, which is suffixed by admin grid, which contains the administration, uh, admin level credentials for open source dashboard. So we are going to use this secret. Okay. We are going to get the open search admin username from OS cluster admin grid secret, which is admin and the password also from the secret. Okay, so let's copy this password. Let's get back to our browser. The username is admin and we're going to paste the password here and we're going to log in to our open source cluster okay. ignore this warning for now oh. so it's working so let's go to the dev tools and from there we're going to make a get request first Here you can see our cluster name is working properly and it's version it's, uh, it's open source and it's version is 1.2.2 so that's it if you want to delete your open source dashboard you can do it very easily by using ctl delete uh, the short from ED, or you can also use the full form elastic search dashboard, or you have to use the short form anyway for elastic search dashboard. ED OS cluster dashboard is the name of our elastic search dashboard, and it's in demo name space, so we are going to delete it. Okay, you can see that the pod is in terminating state. So Open source dashboard is being deleted. You can also delete very easily the open source as well. So, kids will delete yes, which is the short form for elastic search. You can also write elastic search here. Cluster name is OS cluster and it's in demo name space. You can't delete it because as you can see. In the YML, we have set our termination policy to be do not terminate. So it is restricting uh, our database to be terminated. So in case you want to delete the database now, you can patch a new skip serial patch command. To set the termination policy to wipe out, and then if you try to delete our cluster, yeah, so it's getting deleted. The ports are being terminated. So that's how easily you can also perform cleanup operation as well. Thanks.